Today I'm going to show you what $400 a month can get you in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Alright, so this place does come with a washer, which we really, really liked. Uh, we have space for our shoes. And then we have a, a decent sized fridge and freezer microwave you got some drawers for for dishes now you will notice that there is not um, a cooktop or a stove or anything like that which um, is actually pretty common uh, in Thailand you will learn so we have a TV more shelves lots of shelves here if I did work from home this is where I work from now this is a studio apartment so we have a little couch we have a queen-size bed and unlike the other times that we've come to Thailand we've come here like on and off since oh geez 2016 this bed is actually comfortable the other times the beds are like rock hard but this one was super comfortable so we have two nightstands and then we have our our closets here so we have some some bins some drawers we got a section up top and then over here is where we hang our stuff some bags and then the bathroom your sink this is actually a pretty a pretty big pretty deep sink western toilet with a sprayer of course here is the shower. Yes, it did get burned. My skin hot for the whole shower. I didn't have to rush or anything like that. And then, so it does come with air con. Now, this is our view. So when I'm working from the table, this is what I'm looking out at. Yep, we do have a pool. I'll show you these other amenities in a minute. Then we also have a balcony so here's where we dry your clothes it is um, it's not common at all to have an actual dryer like we're used to in the US so everyone oh hold on yeah we <laughs> we are staying in Neiman and we're right in the flight path so it's very common to hear airplanes all the time so anyways um this is this is how you dry your clothes. Everyone just hangs them up to dry. Now, if you if you do go to a like a, a laundromat, there will be you know dryers like we're used to in the U.S. But at homes, you just have the the drying rack here. So again, here's here's our view, and then let me go show you the rest of the complex. Okay, so for the elevator, like this place is so. Um, <laughs> This is such a nice place that we stay. So, in order to use the elevator, you have to use your key card. You, yeah, you can't use the elevator at all, up or down, without your key card. This place is super, um, <laughs> super secure. And even over here, in order to get out of uh, just the building, you have to use the key card. So it's obviously super freaking safe. Um, here is one of the lobbies. So there's three buildings on the property here. And they each have their own key card entry. So this is like a, a green space, hangout space. And you have a pool. And 
that's actually in the sun. So a lot of pools in, in Thailand and Asia in general um, will have the pool in the shade. So I was super happy that this one has, has it in the sun. Then over here, one moment. So you have this hangout area. And then let me show you the sauna. Okay, so this is like a, a locker room, a changing room. So you have two showers down here, sinks, two toilets, western toilets with a sprayer, and then we have a sauna in here. How freaking cool is that? <laughs> okay, and then let me show you the the gym as well. Like, yeah. There's so many different amenities here. It's amazing. Okay, so that's another building. We we live in this building right here. And like everywhere else, uh, you need your key card to get in. Okay, so here's the gym. You got a little ab roller. You got some um, dumbbells, medicine ball. And then, I mean, decent enough equipment. Okay, so that is our apartment and our complex. We are staying at the Nimana, which is in Neiman on Soy 6. So it is, again, $400 a month. Now that is, so we are actually subleasing from my friend. I actually, this... And this world is so much smaller than we even realize. So I met this girl back when we were living in Bali um, at the towards the end of last year. Became friends, wonderful human being. It just so happened that she had moved to Chiang Mai, and we were coming to Chiang Mai at the same time she was going to do a um, a longer visa run. So it just worked out perfectly for us to sublet for her. So. She signed a year lease here at the Namana for the studio apartment. So she locked in the rate of $400 per month. So that is how um, we were able to get, get that rate. Now, in addition, we do pay electricity. So um, it averages out to like $33 per month. That is with the aircon running definitely 100% through the night. And during the day, like 50%, then our water, um, our water bill is $5 a month. And that is with us doing laundry probably five to six times a week, a load a day, basically. Um, it's only $5 a month, <laughs> which is amazing. So for Wi-Fi, my friend already paid that in advance for a year. Uh, she didn't want us to pay her back for it for the, the, month, the couple months we were staying here. So I honestly have no idea how much Wi-Fi costs here, but yeah. Um, so as you saw, like this place, it's super secure. You have to have a, a key card to get in and out of anywhere. Uh, what I didn't show you is up front, we do have security guards that they're there 24 seven. Now we did just get our apartment clean today. So how that works is you just go down to the, um, the admin office here and ask them if one of their members of the cleaning staff can clean your apartment that day. Um, they will, they'll line it up. They use their own supplies. You pay 300 baht, which is right about 10 ish dollars and you can either leave your key with them or if you're home they'll just knock on the door when they're ready to clean but yeah it was super easy super convenient to get the apartment clean for less than ten dollars as always like the video subscribe for more unique travel adventures leave me a comment what do you think about not only our apartment but also the complex and all the amenities that it comes with and the next video will be right here in three two one